Okay, today I'm gonna talk about where to find pieces to flip. So there's tons of places that you can find uh, pieces to flip. And uh, some are just your regular, you know, what you would think of and other things you may not have thought of. So I thought I would share a good list and we will supply you with the list as well. But um, just some things that you should be thinking about. So if you're going to be flipping furniture, tell everybody you know that you're doing that and that you're looking for um, furniture pieces and kind of what you're looking for. If you have a criteria or certain pieces that you know for sure, you know, if you would never do a dining room table, but you're always looking for dressers, um, be specific if you, if you have specific things you're looking for. But tell everybody you know, all your family, all your friends. I get so much just from what people, people know what I'm looking for. And so I will get um, calls from family and friends. It may not be something they have, but their mother-in-law is getting rid of something. It may be something they saw on the side of the road and they're like, hey, on such and such street, there's this thing. It could be something they saw at a yard sale, so they're calling me, um, or even like a listing somewhere. So the more people that know you and know what you're trying to do and what you're looking for, the easier it's going to be for you to find pieces. So put it out there. Let everybody know that you're looking for those things. And then when they're out and about or hear of a piece that fits that criteria or they know that that's what you're looking for, they will call you. So I have gotten so many great pieces and sometimes they're free. It's just somebody's looking to get rid of it or like the side of the road, um, literally next to nothing. That's been my best deals is through family and friends who know what I'm looking for. So with that being said, uh, make sure on your personal Facebook page and if you have a personal like Instagram page or you're anywhere else online, put a post out for what you're looking for. Uh, local people, you know, this, I'm looking for this. Um, if you have a, uh, what I want to say, like a next door app, those kinds of things, put it out there. Put yourself out there and let people know what you're looking for and have them so they can reach out to you when they come across something. So with that being said, first of all, so it's, you know, I, I will give you a list of things and a list of places for you to look to find these, to find these pieces, but use those same places to put yourself out there to get those pieces, if that makes sense. Instead of just searching on there, if you are able to post on there or, you know, like personal Facebook or whatever, um, post on there as well with what you're looking for because it'll just make it so much easier. Instead of you having to go through all the listings and all of that, if you are on there and you tell people what you're looking for, it's just, it's, it's an easier, it's a win-win. It's just easier. So just number one, put yourself out there and let everybody know what you're looking for. So obviously, um, obviously, so there are the other ones like Craigslist apps, like Nextdoor app, let go. Uh, you may have some local apps or um, city apps or other things too in your area. Check those out. Um, Facebook Marketplace, of course, is a great place to find pieces. Just know what you're looking for. Use different words on any of these apps that you're searching for furniture pieces. Think of different words that somebody may use uh, in in a description. So some people may call a dresser a chest of drawers or... A buffet might be um, a side table or you know what I'm saying? So try to think of different different words that people would use to describe a piece. An end table could also be a side table. Uh, um, I'm trying to think of another one as I'm here, but just those different um, antique. If, you are, if you're looking for something old or something real wood, maybe you instead of antique, you try vintage or you or you try just old or you try if there's a certain era you're looking for try that so just make sure when you're searching these places that you use different words it may not be just the words you're thinking of or even the words you would use when you're going to go to sell the piece um but you're looking for pieces so just things because a lot of the times the pieces that you'll be looking for that you're flipping that you want to flip are pieces that you know it's not a seller if 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 that makes sense. It's not somebody that's selling, you know, furniture, you know, amazing furniture or do you know what I'm saying? It's not like a furniture shop or somebody selling a bunch of furniture. It's somebody's, you know, mom or grandma or aunt or whatever, you know, they, they've got a dresser, you know, in the basement that they're finally ready to get rid of. And so they're not going to always have the technical terms or the selling terms that you may use when you're going to sell your piece. So when you're searching any of those apps, think of different words to put in there uh, when you're searching for the different pieces. 
So besides like Facebook Marketplace, I mentioned thrift stores, of course, and don't just think, you know, it's Goodwill, Salvation Army, but there's a lot of mission thrift stores. You know, they're run through a church or they're run through a like an organization. Think of those. We have um, Restore. That's another great one to find furniture pieces. Um, we have a, like a St. Vincent de Paul store. So just think of all of those, not just Goodwill. There are thrift stores of different brands and different, you know, there's a lot of different options. And the bigger the city that you're shopping in or you live in, the better. I'm sure the more options you have. So think beyond just Goodwill and Salvation Army. Yard sales are huge. They're, they're, I love them. Uh, but for us, they're not all year round. So I have to, <laughs> when I find them and I find pieces there, I get excited because we don't have them all year round. So thrifts or yard sales are another great place. Estate sales, for me, estate sales are usually pricier than I want to spend. But if there are pieces or things at the estate sale I want to check out, I always go the first day. Uh, I'm never there like right on time or anything. I'm not going to stand in line, but I go the first day. I look around and see what they have. If there are furniture pieces that I'm very interested in, I will wait and I will make sure that I'm the first one on the last day when it's usually half off or even better, 75% off. So I want to be the first one in <laughs> to go and get those furniture pieces that I was interested in on the first day because I know what the price will be. Usually they will tell you last day is 50% off or 75% off. And I know what that price is going to be. And it's within my budget for spending. Um, I will be one of the first ones there on that last day of the estate sale. So that's how I like to shop estate sales. Um, and some estate sales, I will say, not all of them are super expensive. Some estate sales are held by the actual family members. That's what we did with, for my grandpas. We didn't hire an estate sale company to do it, we did it, but we still called it an estate sale. So that's something to look, that's something to look for um, when you're, when you're looking for, um, I'm just writing some notes down here so I don't forget it. Uh, when you're looking for ads and stuff, if, if it's a, an estate sale and it's not with a brand, usually here in a estate sale that's held by like a company, their brand will be at the bottom of the, of the, um, in the paper or in the advertisement. But if it's not, it could just be held by the family. And then by all means go, because they're not they're not as knowledgeable or their prices don't have to be as high because the estate sale company has to make money as well. So, so make sure to check that. That's another great tip. Uh, flea markets, usually a flea market, again, it's kind of like the last day. The early bird at a flea market, you'll get the best stuff, right? but you're not gonna get the best prices. The last day, these people do not want to be packing everything back up to take back home. So the last day, you're usually you can wheel and deal a little more and they're willing to give you a deal. So um, they're super fun to go to, but if you're looking to find things to flip, the last day when you can kind of wheel and deal a little more is, a, is better. Antique stores, again, they are they are pricey usually around here they are but they we have been, I have been in antique stores when certain booths are going out of business or you know they're they're leaving the antique store or something and so they will have discounted like their whole booth inside there is discounted um if you talk to the owners or the you know the antique people that are in there tell them what you're looking for they might come across something where they really don't want to put it in the store or it needs too much work or or whatever, again, put yourself out there and you be on their call list when they do run into those pieces where they can't put them on the floor or sell them as they are and they're not gonna put the work into them and you might be able to kind of work out a deal. Um, booths, so not just an antique store, but you may have booths around your area. We don't have a ton of those here where you know different people can put things in a booth and rent it out for the month. Uh, so check those as well. Curbside, those are my favorite finds. The cabinet right over here was a curbside find. It's an old farmhouse cabinet. It was on the curb. Uh, I have found many pieces on the side of the road. Not often, but the ones I have found have been unbelievable and I have been able to flip them or keep them in my house and then sell something else that was in that spot. But curbside finds are great. And I have a lot of friends and family that will be driving around and they will see it and call me and say, you know, on this street is this, send me a photo. And then I head right out. So those two go hand in hand really well. Um, store closings. So if you know a store is going out of business, they may have had some really great furniture uh, as displays or, or whatever. So that's another great place to check out. Small shops, 
So um, if you have a small shop that you, you know, if you think it's like, um, like small shops that may sell candles and uh, I'm, I, makeup and hand lotion or something, I'm just making this up, but their displays may be, you know, old furniture. Uh, I, I've been in so many stores where the displays are actually old furniture. So that's another place. Get to know those owners. They like to change things up and they want to get rid of things. Um, have that, have you be their call, have that, you know, they can call you and you can come in, you guys can work out a deal and, and pick up pieces that way. Another great place are auctions. The only thing with those is that you're usually there for a full day. Uh, you think they're going to start at one end with the things that you want and they start at the way other end and not going to get to your things till the end of the day. But I have had some luck with online auctions. Those you don't have to stay all day. And you get to, you know, you can bid from the comfort of your home and uh, you have the description. And then at the end of the auction, if you won the bid, you get to go pick it up. And I feel like some of the online auctions, you can get things cheaper than if you were there in person, you know, going up against somebody that, uh, that you know, for a piece. So definitely check out your local, if you have local online um, auctions, if you just Google online auction sites, um, there are some like nationwide and then it kind of narrows it down to your area. So make sure to check those out. Um, when you're doing your Facebook marketplace, check out those auction sites and see what they've got coming up or um, or maybe having going on right now. And then also look inside. We're all online now, right? But there are still, we get a local free uh, little newspaper every Wednesday. It's not really a full newspaper, but there are ads and things listed inside that newspaper. Check those out. Uh, it could be somebody that just wants to sell some things and they don't know how to use the internet. So, you know, calling up the local paper <clears throat> and putting an ad in that way is easier for them to do and that's what they know. So make sure to check out um, your local newspapers or inserts or whatever you have in your area. Those are just a few of the ideas, but just make sure you keep yourself, put yourself out there. Let people know what you're looking for when you're in shops and stores. Talk to the people there. Um, it, it's just, it's it's amazing. Uh, it just happened the other day, how much and what you can get from just putting yourself out there. So make sure you're doing that wherever you are and tell your friends and family what you're up to because they're gonna be your best friends for finding amazing pieces that you can flip.